Third take. Hello, everybody. I have a piece of paper here. We will talk about this later. So, if I want to talk about my experience at Anaheim, too, but that's not really the whole story of what I want to talk about. Yeah, you stay down there, Shelby. You stay down there. My dog. And I have my special visitor. Please say hello to my dog, Bella. She, she'll show her face here. Or she'll just lay that. There she is. Hi, Bella. So, um, I, I'm i here to talk about something. If you guys were at a Supercross this year so far, or you know, if you've watched my channel, that I do not, from the footage that I've seen at on people's YouTubes and the alpha footage for the new Supercross game, you know I hated it, did not like it, said it's a waste of 60, 50 bucks or whatever it's going to be. I, I did not like it at all. But, if you've been to a Supercross this year, you may have seen that they've had a, a little place where you could test the game out, play it, and play a race. Of course, I was at Anaheim too, so I had to do that. I had to, I was curious. And I want to come on here and say I apologize for everything I said. This game is probably one of the funnest video games I've ever played. Not funner than the first one. Actually, I still have to go back and... I'm going to go back and like test the first and the second ones again. And see if they're better. If this one is truly better. The graphics need tweaking till February 4th. But so far... This game is so freaking awesome, I might spend the 60 bucks on it. And if you've seen Kellen's live stream, the messing around stream, you would have seen me on there saying, this game looks horrible. If you were on the Games Den TV live stream streams, you would have seen me saying, this game is horrible, I hate this game. And this is this video is mainly for you, Games Den, and y you. I know who you, I know who you are. Um, who does those live streams? Please, 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 just hear me out. I was able to play it early, and I may spend the sixty bucks on it now because this game is the funnest game I think I've played in a while. And there is this. And on the, the slips that they were ha had there, there's this special little code that if you type it in your console, I have the games on PS4, so if you type it in, you can like, or use it, you can get like glowing neck braces. That really doesn't pertain to me because I don't even use neck braces. I barely even use custom riders in the, in the Supercross games or the MXGP Pro game. Um, I really don't, but I mean, maybe I can put one on. So... Supercross 3, so far it's worth a buy. The only thing worth my 60 bucks, the only thing that bothered me throughout the first race, because I did two races on that, did Glendale as Chad Reed, and I got last place, and then I did Tomac at Denver, I think I got, came in like 10th. And the only thing that I found that really bothered me is you barely hit a tough block, and you go flying off, and you lose positions, and... That's the only thing that bothers me. The turning feels so much better. The cornering feels so much better. You're not, well, at least for me, I'm not treating the rhythm sections as whoops and, and a lot of other things. So, I know I look sick. So, that was my main point here in this video. But we're not done yet. Let me take a quick break and then we will come back with our next point. One more point before we end here. Um... Talking about my experience at Anaheim too. I got that video game stuff out of the way just in case you guys have a very short attention span. Then you've already heard my main point. So, oh my dog. So if if you went to Anaheim too, it was very crowded there. I I I can't even imagine going to Anaheim one anymore after how crowded that was. Like. Anaheim Supercrosses, from the Supercrosses I've been to, they are the most crowded, so just be prepared when you go. You're going to run into a lot of people. And you're going to run into people that you know. Uh, that happened with one person on Saturday. <laughs> if you're watching this, I, I don't know if you saw me. Um, 
so my only thing was I know in my raw video that I did where it showed the highlights it didn't look like I mean it looked like I got a lot of footage I did not get a lot of footage at all and there was some that I left out because there were some photos that I left out of it because my dad just never sent it to me that's fine if he sends it to me I might get that back in there and I don't know. So, and so I just want to say it's very hard to like balance vlogging with what's going on because half the time I I just want to experience it. Like Supercross the game three, playing that one. I just wanted to experience it. I didn't even ask anyone to film me. So I just wanted to get a feel for it. And, and it would have showed how horrible I was at that game. So. That was my other point here. It's be prepared because, like, you just want to sit there and experience it, but, like, you got to get content for YouTube. So, even the LCQs, I was like, halfway through, I was like, why am I filming this? Like, I, I just want to sit here and watch it. Like, YouTube's hard, guys. YouTube is hard. So, just, just keep that in mind if you're vlogging ever. So, especially at a big event like that. So, Thank you all so much for watching. Please comment down below if you think, if you agree, if you played it this year at a Supercross or whatever, if you agree if this is probably one of the best ones, because I'm still thinking it is. I'm really debating on it's the best one. So, thank you guys so much. Don't forget about the special code. You can see it a lot clearer if you get it. Um, so, thank you all so much and for watching and... Thank you so much for watching, and go check check out my video that I posted earlier today of my thoughts on the 250 main event. Those were crazy. Bye-bye.